Hey up everyone, back again, back in the workshop. I'm feeling quite amused uh, after the last video this morning when I did that pen draw. There's a few people that are not very happy, but it is what it is. Like I said on the video, I am as straight as a die and you get what you see. There's no airs and graces with me. It is Ian Changi, he won the pen, fair and square. I did it on the comment uh, generator through YouTube. You press that and it picks the winner for you. Um, I could have done with really having another device that was linked into my YouTube to do it so I could have showed you, but I haven't, so that's just what it is. So, enough of that. On to the next project today. We've You've seen me turning pens, the oak pens and different, different pens. Now what we've got here today is a piece of acrylic. I've never turned an acrylic pen blank before. So I have no idea how it's going to work, how it's going to pan out. So I'm excited to see what the what happens when I put the chisels to it. I've watched plenty of turning on, on this kind of thing, but I don't know. So I'm a bit on the edge, do you know what I mean? I don't know if it's going to shatter and bloody go everywhere. I don't know, but I am looking forward to it. And I hope you are too. And we've got another project that we're going to be hitting straight after this that's just drying now in front of the fire so we're going to get on with this right first of all i i have put a video out there before about the pen about the pen turning and how i separate the blank and how i fix the brass tubes in and everything i am going to walk you through that process again on this so stay tuned and watch this process I'm still amused on the pen thing. I'm rocked up. Oh, it has got me giggling. Right, enough of that. Let's get straight into this. Okay, right. Now we're marking this blank out. So what I need to do, I need to mark out for these brass tubes so we can get those drilled out. So I'm going to mark those out now. Okay. In fact, what I'm going to do, because I don't think the pencil will show up on this, I'm going to put a piece of masking tape over there, and then we'll offer the barrel up. All we need is a couple of mil over the side there. So what we'll do, and we'll do it a couple of mil over this side, we'll mark that up, and then that's ready for cutting. And we'll do the same this side, and we'll mark that there. So those two cuts are going to be the blanks. Let's get over to the press. Okay, we've got the blank in the uh, drill press now and we're gonna get the center out. Okay, let's see how we did. You know what? People say when you're drilling, I mean, I've seen, I've, I've seen loads and loads of videos on how to drill these pens out, these blanks, so you get it absolutely straight. You'd buy jigs that are really expensive. Now, I just want to sh show you something. I also, you see, I never had no jig in there. I didn't line it up with a square or anything. I basically eyeballed, eyeballed the center, as you can see there. Yeah, it's not a million miles away, but the pen's not going to be that thick. And look, it's not going to be that thick to the bushings. The 7 mil, that's going to give us plenty. It's not that critical, in my opinion. A lot of people might disagree with me, but I don't think it's that important. So there you go. 
that's how we drill out for the center for the brass um, brass inserts okay let's get it on the lathe I'm not going to bore you with the process of doing the second one but that's how that's how you do it uh, no sorry not on the lathe we're going to get back over to the workbench and I'm going to show you how you glue them in so let's get over there okay so before setting the insert into the acrylic blank what we need to do is we need to rough up with the sandpaper just just so it lightly scratches the surface just so it gives the uh, the the super glue something to dry to uh, fix to sorry so you can see what i'm doing there just give it a quick quick rub round you won't go too too much with it though just so it's got a light scratching on the uh, on the blank you can see it there all I've done is just lightly scratched lightly scratched right let's glue them in okay we've got the super glue this is what I'm using this super glue and then a bit of activator so yeah all right all's, all's we're doing here now is we just put in the super glue only, only thin Get some on there. Once this, once I activate it, it's this. It's good night, Vienna. So that's it. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to push it onto the end of this corking nozzle, and all I'm going to do is just insert, turning it round, turning it round so we lose it so just push it in so we can see there that we've got plenty all i'm going to do is get it in there he says and squirt 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 and that is that one done same process with the next one this stuff's brilliant absolutely brilliant plastics metal whatever you want it'll do bit tricky should be wearing gloves again I always forget to put them on. Well, not to worry. So you can buy actual, actual proper tools for actually inserting these, but it's it's just another money making bloody scheme, I think. All you do, just bang him in, give him a good twist, give him a good twist. See, so yeah, I've got loads on there. Absolutely. Loads and loads and loads. So all I'm going to do is get that drill bit again. There you go. A bit shaky. There we go. Lovely job. Activator. Bang. Give that a couple of minutes just to make sure and then we'll get it on the lathe. What I what I did fail to mention again is what I've done here is I've put two two line marks there. I don't know if you can see them. Fingers are sticking. Um, two lines there. So obviously the pattern in the acrylic you want that to match up once you've um, once you've got it on the lathe. So once you've got it down, all this pattern that you see, it all. It all marries up or else it'd look a bit of an ice or wouldn't it so what we're going to do now is we're going to stick this in the let in the vise and we're going to barrel trim around here so we've got a nice square edge so it fits nice up against the bushings so let's get let's get on with that okay we've got them both in there now all we want to do is put your barrel trimmer in
put it on fast. There we go, we'll do the other one. Touch more. Okay, we've flipped them over. And all you want to see is, you see that brass insert? That brass insert just wants to be where it is there. Just flush with the edge that you've just squared off. That barrel, barrel trimmer, what that's allowed me to do there is to make sure that there's nothing inside the barrel and it's given me an, a nice clean square edge right on the uh, end. So once the bushings fit up to that, it's a square edge and it's going to run nice and true. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll get this. That one is slight, that one's good. We'll do this one. Okay. That's lovely. Flush with the end. That one's not quite, can't quite see the whole of the, uh, the brush tube on the end. can now that's what we need so now we've got four completely square ends on on the blanks now let's get them on the lathe okay we're over at the lathe um, what I'm going to do now I'm going to show you the process of putting this onto the mandrill this mandrill comes as a set like that, push one end in, that, that bushing, so then you put it that way, remembering that your orientation marks for your pattern that way, so you want them in the middle, so, sorry, I'm telling you wrong, forgot the bushing, that bushing then slides up to that one, so then your work piece actually goes on, another bushing so that's the second bushing then your second blank with them lined up third bushing and then you bring the tail stock up place that one in the end slide that up and then the tail stock there we go that's nice lock it off and then all we need to do is just pinch it up pinch it up so it's not not overly tight but we don't want there we go they feel nice and tight so you, as you can see in fact we'll do them just a touch more but you don't want to put any more pressure on really than necessary because you can bend, bend the, man, the mandrill so We'll tighten that up there now. It feel it still feels a touch loose. We'll soon see as soon as we get the chisels on it. Right, okay. So now we've got those lined up. And now we are ready to start turning my first acrylic pen. So we'll take the masking tape off. We don't need that anymore. As you can see, that's how it's going to go together. Now, remember what I said. This is my first, very first time doing the uh, the acrylic turning. So I'm not. If it goes wrong, 
what I'm not going to do is edit the video out. I'm going to show you real time what's happening and show you exactly how easy it can be to produce something that I hope is going to turn out to be look, a fantastic looking pen. Um, anybody that wants to get into this uh, wood turning business um, as a hobby or whatever you, whatever you want to do with it, um, this lathe is relatively cheap. I would say I think it was about the five or six hundred pound mark for this lathe, and this is from Axminster, and it is the model AC three seven zero WL. So if you go over to Axminster and check out what they've got on there, they've got some fantastic stuff. I mean, it's brilliant. You've got hobby stuff that for the hobby hobby lathes the in woodworking enthusiasts people that are not that serious so they've got the really expensive stuff you can pay from this lathe a mini lathe to thousands so go over there check that out i mean i don't get nothing for advertising or anything it's just where i've gone for my stuff so less of the rabble from me and let's uh let's have a look okay let's get into it Still not round yet. Let's just have a look at the carbide cutter. See if that gets it round any better. Drop the, drop the rest down a touch. No, I'm not sure I'm 
one. Let's go back to the Volgo. sure about that I can't see where I'm going with all these all these stragglers in my face we're still not round yet so that's probably why I'm not cutting great so let's carry on <laughs> to be a bit uh, a bit different than I thought okay <laughs> Can you see a thing? So I write to credit to those guys that do these kind of turnings all the time that don't have these kind of problems. That's off to you. Let's see, are we down to the bushings? Not quite. Say we were down there.
struggle. I feel so nervous, so nervous just even a approaching it with the chisel. It's got me scared! I don't want ruin it. That feels better doing a doing a pole cut. I feel like I've got more control over it. It's a bit up and down, very all over the place, but let's let's carry on. nice we're down to the bushings anyway and that i'm going to leave that one at that for now and i'm going to work on the other piece and we're going to see where we go from there Does she make a mess? I suppose with a bowl or something like that, if you were turning a bowl or something else made of resin, I'm not, I mean the videos that I've watched, it looks, it, you can hear the chatter on the, on the piece, but with this, because this is acrylic and not resin, then it is quite soft, it's surprising me how soft and how gingerly you actually got to go with the piece, because if you do, if you go, if you put a lot of pressure on, you'll soon be straight onto the mandrel with it. You slip with it, it's a goner. Just wanna keep just wanna keep checking that that bush in there. It's going to be a long video. You know when you when you do something you want it to just turn out as, as best you can. That's what I'm hoping for this piece with it being my very first one and that's not a blag so this is a brand new experience for me. Never put tools to acrylic or plastic or anything like that before so it's a completely different thing. So <laughs> let's go again.
very, very messy. Can't see what I'm doing. It's driving me mad. <sighs> I wonder how easy it's going to be to sand. Highway to the danger zone. Going a bit deep. Deep, he says. We'll have no foul play around here. Is it weird that I've got butterflies in my stomach whilst doing this? Oh, very nervous. I think that's the biggest problem. I can't bloody see where I'm going. Well, we seem to be looking like we've got the cutting angle right on that. Me, me dinner will be done in a minute. You can actually see there, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there where it looks like it's slightly orange and there on the end, that's where it's kind of translucent and you, that you can actually see the bushing underneath it. That's how thin the piece gets to the, uh, to the bushings. it to be uniform as well look at that we've actually got the pattern that's on the blank i've actually cut the pattern off and it's perfect around it you see that oh dear my butterflies are slowly going my confidence is rising Loads go yet. It's like baling twine.
you keep stop pulling my fingers and then I'm going to lose them in a minute aren't I and you're going to see first hand what it's like not what you shouldn't be doing pulling your fingers in between here because I'm going to lose them in a minute surely I think round it off Petrified or hitting them bushes. Baby, you're a That's what I don't want. I don't want fireworks. I don't want nothing blowing off the lathe and smashing me in the chops. And they reckon anything spinning on the lathe that comes off and it's below a thousand RPM, it should drop to the floor. Anything that's spinning on the lathe that's over a thousand rpm it's going airborne and if this hits you in the face it's going to take your eye out but as you can see safety first i should be wearing a respirator but mine's mowed up with cement so i ain't wearing that so we'll get one though for the next one carry on <laughs> No, nobody's having this pen. This one's mine. <laughs> I'm gonna keep this pen forever. He says, "Oh, it's gonna be gorgeous." Oh! <laughs> beauty i think it's going to be absolutely tremendous with a lot of tool marks in it a lot <laughs> I believe it.
bit of a bit of a kick in it there, which I'm not too happy with. Let's just see if we can get that down. <laughs> that's got rid of that little that little hump that I was looking at right let's try and get the other side the same I like, I like that way, the way it is there. She is a beaut. I think I'm happy with that there like that. I can't see any divots in it. What are we saying? I like that. I don't want it too thin, because this pen is for me. I don't like a really thin pen. This is, she wants slimline pens, but I, I mean, it is a slimline kit, but I don't want it to be too much. And quite frankly with you, I don't want to ruin it. So I'm gonna leave it there and we're gonna go on with the sanding process. Now, sanding, I'm not going to hit it with, with a really aggressive paper, I don't think. I'm not going to go straight to 80. I'm, what I am going to do, I'm going to hit it with 120 just to get any tool marks out. Yeah, let's get it on. <laughs>
on it. I'm using this abrasive paper, this is a lot better stuff.
600 grit finish, but we're gonna go crazy with this sanding process on this because I want this to be really, really good. So I'm gonna hit it with my micro pads. I'll be back in a sec, let me just go get some water. Okay, we are started now on 1500 grit and I'm wet sanding this. process as much as I am. Okay, 1800 grit. Watch me get it to, get to the point where I'm pressing it together, and I'm going to end up blowing it bits. So don't don't uh, don't stop watching now because this could still go terribly wrong for me, and then I will cry on camera. Right, we're up to 2,400 grit now. Seems to be going the way that I've planned. A bit ropey at the start, but we got through it. I think slow and steady wins, wins the race with something like this, especially on your first go. And if any of you wood turners, fellow wood turners, um, 3,200 grit now, sorry. Um, I think I skipped one. If any wood turners out there watch this video, please leave me a comment. Get in touch with me. So I want some tips and hints. Tell me where I was going wrong on the video, through the process, if you think I was going wrong. Um, and anybody that's got any information for me on pressure pots, resin casting, on where the best place in the UK is to, um, to get into that. Because I don't just want to buy one of those spray paint tins that you can adjust. Uh, I want to go for the proper job, but I've seen them and they're about £500 and I don't really want to spend that much, but if that's what it costs, then that's what it costs. Don't forget guys, leave, leave us a comment at the end. Give us a thumbs up, it all out the analytics for the page. I would really, really love a thousand subscribers, I'd, that'd do me, that would, because then I can go live and I can do a load of live content and we'll be, we'll be on the money then. Not literally on the money because I don't think, you don't even earn anything off uh, YouTube until you get a thousand subscribers. But it would be nice actually get, get a little bit back from it, you know what I mean? There we go. So we're up to 4,000 grit now. This should be polishing this like crazy. I haven't used no cotton polish or anything else on it. Don't know if I should have done. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. And I want to give a big shout out to all the bricklayers that have been following my page. You have given me a massive boost. Um, so I really appreciate it guys. Thank you very much. Um, and Ian, Shangi, my brother, he's given me a massive boost because he is a bricklayer and he's got all his, all his bricking friends and everything else and it's really boosted the channel so it's really got me excited of what the channel can be. So yeah, we're going on now with 6,000 grit 
less of my waffling. What are you? Talk for England, mate, are you? And even if this pen does go wrong, I am still going to post this video up. Because I think the process up to up to now has gone really well. And I think for anybody like me that's new into the wood turning game and wants to see a rank amateur go at it and see and see what kind of results you can you can hit with your first time on the lathe on an acrylic pen then it might inspire some people to think well actually it doesn't it looks it, it looks actually easier than it is but it is difficult when you're first starting out with it because you've got to learn all your all your tools and cutting angles and sharpening and everything else like I did say before it is a minefield so stick with it eight thousand grit this is now so I'm really hoping that this is going to come out like a real glass finish hoping being the word I'm so excited to get it put together Right. Now we're on the last one. We're at 12,000 grit. So you can imagine just how fine that is. I don't think I can go much fine, much further with it. To be fair, I think it is what it is. can't use a Danish oil on it, you can't use a, a wax on it because it's with it being acrylic. But I think it's the finish is going to be what the finish is going to be. Right, I'm excited to stop that now and see where we're going with it. Oh my god, it's like glass. Anybody see that? Of course you can see it. Are you as, ma uh, as amazed as I am? I'm just going to get a lint-free cloth and just give that a nice buff round. Be back. off now. Let's give it a bit of a... see the finished product. Oh my lord. It's even it's even better than I could have imagined to be honest with you. I don't like that though.
little mark in it there. I think I'm going off to go back over that there because I've got a little, little gap in it. Oh no, I'm devastated. Oh, jeez, you. Right, let's see if we can get it out. She's gone. She's gone. Oh, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe it. Just look at that. Guys, girls, tell me, is that not a thing of beauty? From what it turned out, that's how it started its life an hour ago. Just that piece like that. And now look at that. Anything is possible. Okay. Right, I am now, oh sorry, what I need to do now, I need to go back through the sanding process, back from 1500 to eighty to 12,000 just on this part, so I'm not going to bore you with that, I'm going to turn the video off and whew, we'll come back in a minute. Right, we have got it sanded, we got that out, it was only a little blemish, so I'm really happy about that now, and I am going to... I'm going to take it off and we're going to assemble it and then that's going to conclude this video and then next on to the next project I'm going mad today okay we are over at the critical part now if this goes wrong there's going to be some swearing so I do apologize in advance I hope it doesn't go wrong so now now we've got these two these two blanks turned what we need to do is we need to assemble so what we're going to do is use some cardboard and what I'm going to do first let me just double check that this is the right way yes yes that's right this is the front of the pen so as it comes off the mandrill you take it off you want to make sure that you've got both ends in the correct position so what we're going to do we're going to offer that up there and we're going to put it in the vise and we're going to put a piece of cardboard over there okay as you can see what we've got there you see as it's going in lightly I find that this that this method of doing it like this let me just double check oh it's beautiful okay so that's the end look at that just look at that Oh man, I knew, I've just nearly wet myself. Right, okay, let's just double check again. Yes, that is that. So now, what we need to do is we need to put this in there. So, I think I had this trouble last time where it wouldn't fit in. And we've got the same trouble again. So, I am going to improvise again. And I'm going to put a piece of cardboard into there. I will get myself sorted one day. I promise. Oh, it's a bit stubborn. Go on, you beaut. Okay, now, if you can see 
which I know you can see because I'm looking at the camera. See that little indent there? That is as far as we want to be pressing this into. So let's give it a... Right, we can see it going in. Like butter, baby. It takes a lot. Right up to that mark. That's as far as you go. Okay. Now what I want to do now is before I go any further, I just want to check that the um, that the insert is coming out as much as I need it to. Right now, that's not for me. That's not in quite far enough. It just requires a really small amount. So. We'll just take it in. This pen is for me. And I want it to be perfect. So. There we go. So that's in there now. I'm getting even more excited. As the process goes on. So let's just double check. That this is what we want it to be. Yes. That's what we want. Look at that. So, we will now, the sweating is nearly over. Which process do we do next? <laughs> um, my head's gone right, this one. So, what we need to do now is get your clip. Get your clip on there and put that on there and then we go on to that again so I'm going to push the metal end up and before I've got it closed I'm just going to slip a piece of cardboard in there because I don't want anything compromising this anything like I've said you will see a grown man cry Oh, she's in. She's going. She's... Oh. The relief. It's absolutely... Look at that. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. So, now we pick the other end up. And we place... Oh, she's tight. She's tight. Oh, there we go. We place that on. We place the insert for the pen. And then we place Now, where's the grain? Not the grain. So we want it to be matching up when the pen is closed. So there, there she, there she is. Oh my lord! Look at that. Tell me what you think of that. Just leave a comment. Tell me. That is my first turned acrylic pen. I don't know if it's acrylic or resin or whatever it is, but that is. Come on, give us a comment. I'm beside myself. What do you think of that? That to me, it would look like you just brought that out of a shop. Okay. Okay, that concludes this video and I hope you enjoyed the process of turning this beautiful pen as much as I did. I'm really proud of this pen, I must say. 
Um, any wood turners out there specifically that have got any any um, critique on the way that I did this pen, please let me know. I found that the process that I've used was pretty good. It's turned out amazing, a lot better than I thought. It was turning the actual acrylic or the resin, whatever it is, was a lot easier and a lot softer than wood. Um, and I was very surprised. I was shaking halfway through. And as I said on the video, I was just very, very nervous about doing it. But I think that is absolutely beautiful. So that concludes this video. And we're going to get straight on to the next project. So check in later for that one. So yeah, give us a like, thumbs up, comment subscribe to the channel if you want to see me progress in this wood turning